I had never struggled with anxiety or depression. Now I deal with anxiety on a regular basis. I struggle with PTSD. I get anxiety attacks whenever I see anyone that looks remotely like him in public. I started when I was three years old. My mom signed me and my sister up for a ballet class um, because my sister has this thing where both sides of her body aren't equally strong, so the doctors wanted her to start something that strengthened both sides equally. So they recommended ballet. It's always been a huge part of my life with stress relief. Um, it started just as something fun to do, but the people that I have danced with have really become my family. My home studio is what I consider home. It's not only a way to cope with letting out emotion through dancing, but also having that support network of people surrounding me. Labor Day weekend, 2015, my life changed forever. I wasn't at a party. There were no alcohol or drugs involved. I wasn't dressed promiscuously. I was wearing a t-shirt and baggy running shorts. I tried everything to get him to leave before it progressed into something awful, but nothing worked. I was helpless. Campus didn't feel safe anymore. I was terrified of seeing him wherever I went. My apartment didn't feel like mine. I lost friends over this. I think I, like, I realized what was happening um, while it was happening, obviously. Um, but I didn't want to tell anyone because I didn't think that anyone would believe me because he and I ran in the same circle of friends. And me only knowing him for about two months at that point, I didn't think that people would believe me if I said, hey, watch out, this guy raped me. That whole month of me not telling anyone was just suppressing feelings down and it was constant turmoil and I thinking like, I know this happened to me and I should tell somebody, but how do I tell somebody? Nobody would believe me, so I'm just not going to tell anyone. And that constant inner battle of, is it right to tell someone or is it right to not tell someone? If I don't tell anyone, this could happen again, but next time it could be worse or it could be to someone else. I filed a Title IX complaint and went through an incredibly emotional investigation, complete with me telling two investigators in excruciating detail every single thing that happened. I found out that he had been suspended from Grand Valley until I graduate and trespassed from campus property. After that, I finally decided to report to the police. Despite the evidence, and that Grand Valley had found that a sexual assault occurred, Ottawa County refused to press charges against him. My faith in the justice system has been lost. Dance has always been a really innocent thing for me. My studio is a Christian studio, so all of the dances were pretty happy, not really deeply emotional. But even through that, I constantly found happiness and I brought that with me when I came to college and continued to find my happiness in dance. I guess it was more of a way to celebrate that I was happy in my freshman year and then sophomore year it turned into a way to become happy. I never really thought that it would have to be my way to be happy rather than celebrating that happiness.
got out of school after a semester. He gets to transfer schools easily. There's no black mark on his record that will follow him. No jail time, no sex offender registry. No bright flashing lights that say, I'm a predator, I raped a woman. Watch out, you might be next. But there should be. He got a slap on the wrist. I, I got a lifetime of coping with trauma that isn't only affecting me, but affecting every single relationship that I have or will have in the future. You didn't win, because in order for you to win, I would have had to let you. I would have had to give up on life and let you take over. See, I know that you weren't after the sex, because rape, it isn't about sex. It's about the perpetrator holding a position of power over the victim. And it was up to me to decide how long that would last. And it's ended. It ended the moment I spoke up and found help. I'm not a victim, I'm a survivor.